Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for September 18, 2023. The Texas is open for business edition. We begin with that story as Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is acquitted of corruption in the trial in the Texas Senate. And that clearly means that if you want to engage in corruption in the Texas legislature or even a Texas elected official, executive official, come on down. When we say open for business, we mean we are open for business. You got a problem with the FBI? Well, pay off the Attorney General. You got a problem in a civil suit? Well, pay off the Attorney General. Come on down, because Texas is open for business. Just bring a big old checkbook. Next up, from Reuters, the um, Chinese Defense Minister, Li Shang-Fu, is uh, under a corruption probe and has not been seen for several weeks now in public. This um, obviously portends a change in the Chinese military strategy. He has disappeared from public view uh, last month and has missed meetings, including those with foreign counterparts. So I would say that's a pretty good sign that uh, he's going to be convicted of corruption by the Chinese government official, unlike the state of Texas. And uh, he's looking at a jail sentence. Our next story comes to us from the South China Morning Post, a uh, off-time contributor to the Daily Compliance News, that uh, Singapore is currently investigating a $1.3 billion money laundering scandal. It's the talk of the Asian financial world, and it could further balloon to involve more suspects. As with uh, the 1MDB financial scape, Uh, scandal. This has caught the public's attention due to the types of luxury items and properties involved. So far, 10 foreign nationals have been arrested and charged and remain in custody. All 10 are of mainland Chinese origin, and they have all have ties to organized crime. And our final story comes to us about Jan Werner, the um, head, former head of founder of Rolling Stone magazine, uh, who's been uh, fired from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, after making comments about female and minority rock artists while promoting his most recent book. Um, Werner was a, uh, a founder of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and his comments were made in an interview and obviously sexist and racist. Uh, he collected stories from seven rock icons, including only white male performers. Uh, he responded by suggesting that black and females weren't as, quote, articulate, end quote, as white male ones. Obviously a very bad look and not correct. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.